Hello and welcome to We Got a Podcast. Woo! I'm Liz. And I'm Leah. And we love talking. Okay, I already I started talking, you hadn't finished doing it. Sorry, Leah! That was a bit dramatic. I That's apologize. okay. All good. Um, so in case you missed that, this is Liam. <laughs> and I'm Liz. And we talk all about the vibes and the values. Yeah. Hey, um, Liam, tell me, how are you today? I'm I'm really good, thanks. That's yeah, good. Okay. Question Have you been watching the Football World Cup so far? Yeah, I have. Um a few games, yes. That's good. Okay. What's been like your favourite moment so far? Uh, I gotta say when um, Hannah Wilkinson scored that goal it was just mm. amazing. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed that too. Um. Mm, this is really good. Wow. Mm. This is um, Pringles sizzling meat lovers pizza flavour. This is so, so good. So nice. Are you gonna share? Oh. Um. Okay, I gotta tell you now, now that I've got a full mouth that I'm chewing. Um, I read somewhere that if you eat in front of someone else who's not eating, it makes you feel super uncomfortable. Now I have to say, when I was eating in front of you, I did feel like really bad for not sharing. Um, but I was very curious to see how you would feel. How did you feel when I was eating in front of you? I just saw the fabulous, and I was like, okay, this is unfair. Un- you felt like it was unfair. Thank you. Did you feel uncomfortable? Uh, that I was eating I mean, without offering you any? I kind of had chocolate before we jumped on to do this podcast, so like it wasn't too bad. Mm. But if I was hungry, yeah. I'd probably feel a bit like... Well, help yourself. I'm going to put them down here. Oh, yeah, let's go. Pringles or lollies, they're all yours. Um, but because I read that that can make you feel uncomfortable, we're talking all about like, have you guys ever been in a in a negative environment, a negative space? Maybe it's a bit uncomfortable, and you just kind of feel stuck, and you don't know what to do about it. Mm. Maybe like at school, you're in a classroom, and there's just heaps of bullying or put downs going on. For real. Or maybe you're at a sports game like the World Cup, and there's just people just like throwing insults at booing. the players and booing and it's just not a nice environment it's not very friendly it's not very encouraging and you just kind of feel stuck and you don't really know how to get out of it well if you've ever felt like that we're talking all about it today we're talking about if you've ever been stuck in a negative space we're talking about this big word right here kindness and what that means now before we go any further though i thought we should get a little bit uncomfortable ourselves Okay. And so we're going to play a little bit of a game. And this game is called, I named it, Positive or Negative Spicy Edition. Spicy Edition. Okay. So no, I'm not looking forward to this. We have two ping pong balls in here. Right. One is green. Nice. One is red. Oh, no. Green equals positive. Red equals negative. Mm. We're going to pull them out. One at a time. We'll take turns. If you pull out a green one, we're safe. It's positive. It's all good. But if you pull out a red one, hold this for a second, please. We both have to eat a red hot, outrageously spicy chip. And about these chips, I went into the shop and I asked the lady, I said, what is the most hottest chip that you sell? And she said, these ones. So, and Hot I don't, off the press. I don't do well with spice, so this might not go well for me, but you're pretty good with spice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so we'll, we'll play. Wait, so let me just get oh. this straight. Pretty much we're just waiting to lose because eventually someone will pick out the red. Statistically speaking. Well, who knows? We statistically might... speaking. Well, well, who okay, knows? Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to start, You go for right? it, yep. Yeah. Red or green? Oh, safe. We're safe. It's positive. Okay, my turn. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course I was going to pull out the negative. Yep, you okay, were. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. One chip. Let's Red go. Hot. Let's see. Oh, oh this is wow, a big you got a, quite a big one. Ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. That does not taste very hot. Or is it... Is it oh. It's, it's not... It's not very hot. Is yours, was yours hot? No, I think I I think I'm gonna pull out another red one. And okay, I think we need a handful of them. A handful of them. That's right. quite a lot of chips. Here we go. You were gonna eat them all? Let's see if it increases the spice. Okay, I'll eat three. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Um. Mmm. No. Those are delicious. Yeah, they're, they're not, not hot though. They're not spicy. Really, really nice. And I do not do well with like there's a little bit of a thing, but it's hardly there. Mm. Mm. Oh, actually, mm. on second thoughts. 
Take these to the movies, guys. <laughs> I would take them to the movies. Okay, you know They're what good. we have to do? We yeah. have to try and find some chips that are actually... Oh, oh. <laughs> that's in the back of my throat. Oh, that's actually a little bit hot. Oh, oh. Okay, we have to find some chips that are hotter than those because... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Guys, comment comment below what like what what the hottest chip is out there, and oh. we'll see if we can go find those chips. Yes, because these oh. ones were not that hot. Although really I really nice, just not hot. I don't know if actually I want to get hotter ones now because that's actually kicked in. You're kidding me. No, just in the back of my throat. I think it's got stuck there, like the spice. It's quite hot. Do you need a drink of water? I think we should move on to the next part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's. And that was the game. <laughs> yeah, fun game. Thanks, Liv. Would you like to tell us more about like you can eat those. kindness and 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 what like what is it like? How do well, you be yeah, kind? Well, yeah, sure. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. And so, what does that kind of look like? Well, when somewhere has a negative culture, showing kindness to those around you can make a positive difference. Mm. And there's like many ways that we can show kindness. Some of those ways are we can listen actively, so we can when someone's speaking to us. We can use our eye contact, we can ask questions back, and that just shows the person that we actually care what they have to say. And we can acknowledge, other, so that's, you're, you're not really listening actively right now, Liam. Huh? Sorry? Yeah, you got to like ask questions, engage. Eye oh, contact is yeah. really good. What did you just say? I said what um, listening actively is all about. Right. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, good at, I'm, good at, I'm good at listening actively. You are. You're doing mm. pretty good now. Okay. Mm. Another thing we can do uh, to show kindness is to acknowledge others' needs. So like... Um, maybe if you notice someone just looks a little bit like they're just a bit out of it, they're a bit, I don't know what's going on. They might just need some space. And so you acknowledge that, or maybe they just look like they need a hug, or maybe they just need a smile, acknowledging others' needs and then communicating positively, build people up, encourage people with our words. Nice. And also we can celebrate the qualities that we see and value in others. So if you notice someone's really good at something, or you really appreciate how they're always on time, just tell them. You know, appreciate um, the qualities that you see in others. Do you know what I appreciate a lot about you? What? You always laugh at my jokes, no matter how bad they are. <laughs> That's a really hey, good quality Hey, everyone to deserves a laugh. When people try, you need to laugh. I believe in that. Awesome. Now, there's actually um, another thing that I want to show you, Liam, another kind of visual way to show what kindness is kind of like and how it can change the culture. Okay. So, I want to get <clears> a <throat> glass of water to you. You're going to hold oh. it. Don't worry. There's no, it's not going to go everywhere this time. You just hold it there. Okay. I remember the I'm last time. Some, some things in here. So, this is just like the environment. This is the space that we're in. Okay. Now, when we add in the negativity, it's a negative, negative space. It kind of goes a bit like that. Yeah. It's a bit gross. It's a bit dark. It's a bit negative and unhealthy. It doesn't oh, really look I'm very nice. But when you add kindness into a negative environment that you kind of feel stuck in this environment, but you add kindness in, and watch this. The kindness changes the whole negative space. If we give it a few more seconds... I can see it. It's, it's slowly, slowly getting lighter. It's slowly changing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Getting lighter. It's getting lighter. Whoa. And this is going to change the whole negative space. Well, you're kind. Look at that. Whoa. What? It's clear. How, that's such a cool picture of when we ac actually add kindness to a negative space. It changes the culture. That is awesome. And, you know, sometimes it's going to take a bit of time, you know, to actually change that culture, Absolutely. right? Just Absolutely. like this took a bit of time. You just got to keep persevering, right? Yeah. And being kind. Keep, keep being kind. showing up because culture isn't just changed overnight. No. You got to keep doing the hard yards, right? Exactly. Wow. So that's a cool kind of way to know that Very kindness awesome. changes the kindness culture. Kindness is culture changing. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out, out with that. Now, Liam, have you ever kind of been in a negative space and kind of felt stuck there? Yeah, I'm trying to think of times. I know I definitely have because, um, I don't know, just whenever you go through school or mm. just life, you know, there are going to be times where you're stuck in a neg negative culture. And for me, I, I'm always quite a, like, uplifting, encouraging person. So for me... What's really annoying is when I'm not the one being bullied, but maybe someone else is, and I'm like, oh, how do I, how do I approach this? How do yeah. I change the culture here? It, mm. it can be quite tough. Mm. Um, yeah. That's why I think those tips about how to be kind can be really helpful mm. because often it's really hard to know what can we do, especially yeah. when it's not us that's kind of being unkind or, or if we kind of notice something like way off of, over there, we're not really involved. So it kind of feels a bit awkward for us to kind of get involved. But I don't think being kind is ever a bad thing. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think that a kindness is, is only a good thing. Have you life. ever been in a situation where like you felt like you're in a negative environment? 
Yeah, definitely, for sure. I think there's been lots of different times. I don't know, like one time um, when I played football, um, the coaching style that I was used at one point was was quite like a lot of yelling at, at the players. And, and although like I love, love the person, love, love my coach, um, but the yelling was quite unmotivating and kind of made it feel like a bit of a negative space, mm. a negative environment to be in. Um, and so to bring kindness into that could have really changed the culture perhaps. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of a cool thing for me to reflect on and think about and moving forward if we're ever in negative spaces. When we bring in kindness, it can really change the culture. Awesome. So good. Love that. Kindness is culture changing. Yeah, that's awesome. Mate. Hey, thanks for tuning in to We Got A Podcast today. Thanks for listening. Go be kind and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later. See ya.